Kramer has started in all 43 games. And the first pitch to him is swung on and missed in the count on one. Kramer trying to avoid the double play to start the game. Barry still playing close to the line. Medina and McDermott playing back. And the 0 1 pitch is swung on and bounced right back to Reds. He hesitates, fires to Medina for one. On to first double play. That hesitation was great by Reds. That was all about giving the shortstop enough time in order to cover second base and get the throw on over to first. Great play by the high point defense. And McDermott, not naturally a second baseman, so there might have been some confusion between him and Medina as to who would tag the bag McKay. there. But Medina tags it, throws to first in plenty of time, and there's two away. It's a six to four to three put out. That brings up Grant McCabe, the number three batter in the lineup. A 297 batting average. As looks to make the last out of the inning here, or Retz will try and set him down at the last out of the inning and counts 0 and 1. And the pitch is swung on and bounced up the middle. McDermott dives and makes a good effort, but it gets by him into center field for a base hit. So a two out single for Grant McCabe, and Duke gets a runner right back on base. Great effort by the second baseman there, had that glove been maybe 12 inches, he might now have seen that. Third one. baseman, number 41, Jordan Betts. That brings up the third baseman, Jordan Bet, who Jordan Betts, excuse me, who has also played in all 43 games. And first pitch to Betts is a little bit low, and the count one and zero. Betts with a 5.15 slugging percentage, the third, second highest, excuse me, in the Duke lineup. Head of the count 1 and 0, and he swings and misses in the count 1 and 1. McCabe on first, two outs. Rhett's trying to get the Panthers back to the dugout. And he faked to second, but that pitch has popped up. Medina calling everybody off. He's under it, but he gets called off by the center fielder. Cody Manzella, who makes the catch for the third and final out of the inning. We've played one yeah, inning, of, or inning, a half inning of play, two hits for the Blue Devils. We'll get the high point lineup and Duke defensive alignment when we come no back here on State Farm Big Sub Network. Medina sporting a seven per 11 stolen base attempt. Now we'll see if he's going. As Brown makes a pickoff attempt. Vanofsky awaits the first pitch of his at bat. Brown ready, and the pitch is on the outside corner. First strike of the game for Brown. Count 0 and 1. Let's see if Medina goes here. All base runners love to steal after a leadoff walk, especially only on four pitches. 0 1 offering, and a button by Vanofsky. It's a good one. Brown over to cover, and he. Tries to tag Vanofsky and is successful. The sacrifice works. Medina up to second, one away. No official at bat there, and it's high point off its first runner in scoring position for tonight. Now batting the catcher, number 21. And Josh it's for Spano. the heart of the order. Josh Spanner, Josh Spano now, number three hitter in the lineup. Medina on second base. Spano at 320 on the year, two home runs, 27 RBIs. Spano waiting. Spano has the second most at-bats on the high point team, 178. And the first pitch to him was outside for ball one. Spano is a power hitter, but all he has to do is go the other way and get that runner to third. And they try and pick off Medina unsuccessfully as Medina gets back to the second base bag. It's always an advantage out there when you make the pitcher think just a little bit more out there on the base pass. Still looking back at Medina and the 1-0 pitches on the outside corner. Count evens up at 1-1. One one. 
Not the best location here in this situation. That would be very easy for Spano to go the other way. Usually in this situation, you want to throw it on the inside half of the plate. Spano awaiting the 1-1 pitch. And another look back of Willie Medina who dives back into the bag. No throw from Brown. Count remains a ball and a strike to Spano, the number three hitter in the lineup for the Panthers today. That pitch is outside and low, and the count now two and one to Josh Spano. Let's see if Cozart here puts on a hit and run. Would not be surprised with the way Craig Cozart ball works. Anything can happen at any point in time, Zach. And this is a hit and run count and a hitter's count at that. 2-1 pitch. Medina stays. And that pitch is low and the count 3-1. and one. Spencer Angelus awaits on deck. Brown could be pitching around Spano here and unintentionally putting him on first base. I would not be surprised. Spano is a dangerous bat in this Panthers lineup. And the 3-1 pitch is swung on and grounded to the second baseman. He fires over to first. There's 2 away. Give a put out there for Andy Perez, who fires over to Marco, Marco Cini, excuse me. And there's 2 away. Moving up to third on the play is Willie Medina. Excellent job by Spano to do his job and get that runner over to third with two outs. Spencer Angeles now comes into this at bat, hitting 338 on the season. 21 RBIs, a two out scoring opportunity here for Spencer. First pitch to him, and that's a called strike, count on one. A big at bat here early on to get Brown out of rhythm. Duke in the bottom half of the ACC standings. 0-1 offering, a little bit low in the count one and one. Duke comes into this game with a 23 and 20 record, but 8 and 13 in ACC play. That pitch is outside, count two and one to Angeles. Round ready. 2-1 pitch is outside. 3-1. and one. Hitters count for Spencer Angeles. Brown throwing plenty of balls here early on. Hopefully he won't ha have to see a visit from his coach here. Hitters count. 3-1. and one. Two outs. And we'll see what Angeles does here. 3-1 pitch. Swung on and grounded. Too short. And he boots it. And he fires the first there. It will be no throw, and the run scores. The run comes in to score on the error as the Panthers manufacture a run. The shortstop, Koplov, did a great job of hustling over there, but he choked in the end. So the Panthers don't have a hit in the inning, but they have a walk, a butt, a ground out, and then the run well, scores the on the error. Angelus over to first base, and here comes Ryan Retz looking to help his own cause.